ending. The ending that I had to that phrase um, is called a pop. Uh, it's an ornament you're going to hear an awful lot uh, in native flute playing uh, to end a phrase or even to end a whole song. And it's a very easy technique to do. Uh, it's a very easy ornament to learn. Um, the way I learned it is uh, literally hold the flute without breathing into it and just pick up all your fingers. Well, not all your fingers. Keep your third finger down. And I also keep my pinkies on the flute. I don't want to drop the flute. So just practice that and keep doing it and keep repeating it. And while you're doing that, say the word what, 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 and feel your tongue hitting the roof of your mouth, what, you're cutting off the airflow, what, what, and now you're going to do the two of those together, and you don't have to go to the top note, you could just pick up the bottom fingers, or other notes, Or you could come from different notes. You could come from... And of course, with all these exercises, it's good to practice them in all the positions. Uh, coming from every note and going to every note to get used to them. You could even try picking up the third finger, like we did in the Mode 4 exercise. Try all those positions and get used to doing that. Spend a couple of minutes a day for a week doing that, and then forget about it, and that ornament will, uh, will come up naturally at the end of your phrases uh, when, it, when you want it, when it's, uh, it's going to sound good to your ear. That's the idea. There's a couple of other ways to end um, phrases. Uh, endings were challenging for me for a long time when I started playing because I was trying to do them with my diaphragm. I was trying to smoothly end a note just using my diaphragm. Sounded kind of like this. Hear that? Now, there's kind of a uh, hesitation near the end. I am actually exaggerating it a little bit here so you can hear it, but all my notes had this sort of hesitancy as I was trying to trail off smoothly at the end. So there's a couple of techniques you can use, and the easiest one um, to do, uh, it's a fairly sharp ending, and try this against the back of your hand first. Breathe against the back of your hand with your lips tightly sealed around your hand, and then drop your bottom jaw open, and the air will escape out the bottom jaw. And now try that against the flute. Breathe into the flute. And just open the bottom jaw. You're still exhaling. You can even exhale the unused air. If your phrase ends earlier than um, the amount of air you have in you, you can use that to exhale the remaining air, give, you, give yourself room to take an inhale to start your next phrase. Now, we do this against the back of our hand first because it's easier. If you're going to do this in a lesson or at a flute circle, have people do it against the back of their hand, and there's a lot of back pressure. There's an awful lot of back pressure because no air is escaping. Through the flute, it's a little bit more challenging because you don't have as much back pressure. So you learn it against the back of your hand first and then do it in, into the flute. But you hear that it's a fairly sharp tail off. And if you want a smoother tail off, there's another variant to that. And I'm actually going to do this against the back of my hand with a little assistance from my other hand. I'm going to breathe against the back of my hand, but I'm with my finger, I'm going to open my lip. I'm going to encourage myself to get used to relaxing my lip. That's the idea. We're going for relaxing lips, but it helps to actually do it with your finger to help your uh, lower lip or your upper lip or both lips uh, relax. What I'm doing is I'm relaxing my lips so the remaining air can escape, but a little bit more uh, slowly and smoothly than just uh, dropping your bottom jaw. So it sounds like this, and I'm again going to do it with my finger. All right, I've just got three fingers on the flute here, and I'm going to do it with my finger to train me to relax my lips. Do it to the side. And now, without the help of my finger, Sounds like.
Now you can still hear kind of a whistle near the end. That's part of the flute sound. That's not something your diaphragm is doing. That's not something you can uh, directly control with your lips. That's part of the flute sound. And each flute will have a different whistle sound or an edge tone um, as the volume of air, as the air pressure is being relaxed from the sound mechanism. That's part of the sound of the flute, and I really like that. Um, but we're trying to control that unsteadiness and get a smooth tail off, tail off in volume, and tail off in pitch. The pitch drops as you do that. And it's a really nice effect at the end of each note. So we put these uh, simple techniques out on YouTube because they're kind of the core techniques of uh, playing Native American flute. And uh, what we're moving towards uh, with our workshops uh, and with our uh, flute schools is a kind of an inverted classroom. It's a, it's a movement uh, in education that's happening all over the place where you get a lot of the content on these videos. You get them actually outside of the classroom. The inverted classroom then lets you do these techniques outside the classroom, and then when we get together and we jam uh, at flute circles or uh, retreats or uh, flute schools or any kind of a workshop, we come together with kind of the exposure to these techniques. We've seen them before. We see them, of course, quickly again, and uh, people pick them up much quicker, and it gives us much more time to actually come together in community and uh, make music together to focus on uh, playing off of each other, uh, to playing in uh, groups, uh, to playing in recording sessions, uh, live jams, playing with percussion, playing with guitar, playing with uh, flute duets and trios. Uh, that's the kind of space we want to be in. That's the kind of uh, community music that we want to create. And so these basic techniques, um, you can get them uh, by practicing them at home, or just watching some videos and getting exposed to them and getting an, an idea of what they are. So uh, we hope you uh, enjoy them, and uh, we hope uh, somewhere down the road you can uh, join us uh, at a flute workshop or a flute school. And that's the way we let the hair tail off. That's the way we let the air tail off. That's the way we let the air tail off. Really? <laughs> okay. Sure.